Greetings, true friends, and welcome back to good old Hellas. Now we are in the middle of a quest, and um, yeah, we're just uh, picking up where we left off last time. And I have two things to say before I delve into the episode. Just gonna admire this statue while I talk. Fucking juicy. So, I don't know if my voice sounds a bit dodgy, but I was actually struck down by the tender caress of Grandfather Nurgle, and I got a uh, sickness. It only lasted one day, though, so that was um, really nice. But I'm uh, well again now, but if my sound, if my voice sounds a bit off, that is uh, the reason. But uh, anyway, I'm well now. The second thing I wanted to say is that I got corrected by a uh, true friend in the comment section last uh, episode because I said that Alexander united the Greeks and that is uh, not absolutely correct. It was actually his father Philip who uh, united the Greeks but uh, when Philip, his father, was assassinated several of the Greek city-states they rose up in rebellion against the newly formed um, alliance, so therefore Alexander had to go down to the Greek city-states again to, um, in a show of power to get them back in line, so to speak. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to have fight. that clarified. Anyway, let us, uh, let us see what, uh, what the crack is here. Right, let's head down Everybody here, benefits. shall we? Hello. Hello, dog. That's a that's a juicy dog, if anything. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies. That is one nice bow. Boom. Nice. Alright. Press U to open ability menu. Aha, we have gained a level. Now let's see... Bull Rush. That's uh, the most aesthetic one. And we have Sparta Kick. <laughs> that is... Um, that is also legendary. Charged heavy attack. Hold to charge. Uh, we're gonna go with Bull Rush now, and I suppose we can acquire the rest of the things later. Alright, we have a uh, Assassin Hunter there, and uh, I don't want to box with him right now. Talk to Drusilla. Aha, that's her again. Right, the, uh, the boss guy, the big guy for you is up there. Um, fair is fair. Hello. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need the thrashing. I fair will stop fair. the bandits. Your wood problem. Finally, Marco sure is lucky. He's got you as a scapegoat. Where are any the idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker. I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere. That much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. I will I'll get going. About it. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. Have patience. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. <laughs> if you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. I was being I uh, you. You respectful to towards, uh, towards my elders there. That's why I chose the more polite of the um, of the um, options. Um, so anyway, I think I didn't mention this, but our character here actually reminds me a bit of um, Ganicus in the Sparta. No, not in the Sparta. In the Her not in the Hercules series. series the Spartacus series um, that I watched back in the day. 
Uh, if I had watched it today, I would probably have been a bit turned off by all the degeneracy shown in it. But uh, when I watched it back in the day, at least, I thought it was highly, highly testosterone-ous. So, uh, anyway, this guy looks a bit like Gannicus in um, Here's where the ambush that series. I should look around. Right, investigation area. Let's see what we have here. That's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. Alright. Here we have something interesting. Interact. The cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. That is true. Maybe we have to talk with um, some of these guys. No. Ah, there we are. Interact. Shot in the back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. Okay, he uh, he's dead. Let us call our trusted eagle. That must be the bandit. All right, I'm looking that for. went that went well. Okay, cool. Now we will actually illuminate this bastard to the primordial truth. The primordial truth of violence. Oh, look at that, a uh, wolf. Oh, poor wolf. But uh, he had to die. Uh, there was no other choice. Aha, more wolves. Let's uh, let's charge him. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I am. I'm sorry, Wolf. Um, so anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the Dacian Wolf Cult video I made. Um, it was quite nice to make it. Oh damn! I uh, I need to concentrate while I illuminate this wolf. There we are. Um, yeah, it was a nice video to make because uh, I actually learned something new whilst uh, making it all right. So something happened with the game there. I don't know if it's just that my computer is um, it's a bit old or something, but I but I restarted the game at least. So um, hopefully the rest of the recording is good. So I got to this stage and then something happened. I hopefully. Hopefully it won't happen again. Now let's uh, illuminate this uh, this guy. Come on, stand still then. What do you think you're doing? There we are. Aha, there was another one. Sounds like a female. Is this actually a female? Let's uh, investigate this uh, immediately. Because that, I would say, is a bit. Not just a bit, it's. Uh, this is a guy. Okay, if they have female guards and stuff, that's not something I can endorse. But uh, something I can endorse is the amount of loot that they have here. Hello, bruv. Uh, ooh. Legolas tier mad cunt archery skills. Did not have any loot for me, the bastard. How about these guys? Ah, that felt bad. I did not want to kill the Dogo, but uh, I had to. I'm sorry, Dogo. I will. Um, Better take some lumber back as proof. That old bag won't just take my word. Aha, that might be a slave or something. I will say a prayer for this uh, doggo. I'm sorry. Oh well. We can... Uh, we can redeem ourselves by... Um, by doing something for the gods. And what that might be is uh, something that we will see later on. 
Right, where is our trusted horse? You cannot call Phobos from restricted areas. Okay. That is noted. Then... Ah, there he is. We just had to get out from the, uh, the bandit camp. So, speaking of um, Alexander the Great... Hold up. I have thought about making a little review of the, uh, of the film from 2004 because I think that is a reasonably good film. It's a bit... Um, I might have mentioned this before at some stage but uh, it might have been some some time since I did that, and uh, I would say that Hephaestion is being portrayed as a bit too gay, uh, a bit too feminine. Uh, after all, he was a battle-hardened general, and uh, not some um, not some sissy, to put it that way. And uh, I don't think the film captures that. But other than that, it's a very intense film with a lot of passion and. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's an epic film. Then, of course, a lot of things could be better with it, but uh, it's hard to capture such an such an epic story as that of Alexander the Great. But I will um, make a full review at some later point. Hello. Oh look, it's Marcus's mighty champion. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually did what I asked. I tracked the bandits and sent them to Addis. Your wood should arrive in town soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary? She is um, very disrespectful. You should be more trusting. You really should have more faith in people. I said I'd get it done. And I did. I brought you some wood back to work with until the rest arrives. By the gods! You sure you work with Marcos? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos. Alright. Thank you very much for that. Now, let us see what sort of uh, quests we have available. We are quests. An eye for an eye, in the footsteps of gods. A Kephalonian priestess was desperate to find the spear of Kephalos in the hopes that it would draw more people to her shrine. Was it Kephalos then who sent Alexius to help her? Um, I thought we had already done this, but uh, apparently, apparently we have not. So I suppose we can just run up here and uh, see what the crack is. <laughs> Greetings. Alexios, have you come back to talk about the spear? I have. Oh, good. Tell me, did you find it? I'll give Consider it, to you. it a donation to the temple. What? No reward? Oh, Alexius, I'm in your debt. If ever there's a way my temple can help you, or anyone, send them here. I will remember. I did it for the gods. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. But first, I need to inspect you. Okay, he, um, he can pass for Greek, I suppose. No, cool. We have uh, leveled. How nice. Let us do something fun. Alright, let's go with the Sparta kick. can be fun to, uh, to use that. Right, let us uh, look at what kind of quest we can uh, embark upon. An eye for an eye seems uh, like a reasonable course of action. Talk to Marcos, but uh, where is he? He's up here somewhere. Let's 
So, um, yeah, as I said in the last episode, very mythic feel to this game. It is nice that it's sunny as well, because I, I do miss the sun being in December in Sweden. I haven't seen the sun for quite some time, so, um, so yes, it's even though it's not quite the same, but it's still, uh, it's still nice enough to be in this beautiful environment. That's also something I can really appreciate with gaming, that if you if you are in the need of a beauty boost, if you want to look at something beautiful, because looking at beautiful things gets you in a good mood, then gaming can be a good thing indeed. If it's a beautiful game, that is. Hello, brov. Ah, here you are, and not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of Drach me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Go on. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. <sighs> of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his rachmi. Then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still, or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Where does the Cyclops live? I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There you will find his lair. All right, mate. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Alexios. It's your defining trait. <laughs> Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. Okay. Let us steal the, to find the eye. Cyclops If it's as eye. valuable as Marcos says, it'll be hidden. Hello, Phobos, my trusted companion and steed. Full steam ahead. Easy. Or perhaps... Okay, that uh, that went all right. Let us call our other trusted companion. Hello, I. <laughs> Hello, I. Right. Okay. The watch will be vigilant here. Now we need to be. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. We need to be very sneaky here. Maybe I can. No, I can't oh, really. Like a... Must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view. See if we can get a headshot here. Not a uh, not a one shot one kill, but um, reminded to stay hidden at least. Ha! We can we can loot. 
look at a ritual maze. Aha, a, uh, a god is there. We'll have to be careful. Aha, and I thought we could... Um, could get in there, but uh, that was silly of me. To think such a thing. And we have to be careful with this guy as well. Aha, there are quite a few, actually. Hmm, I will just have to wait here. Aha, they have a... They have a doggo there as well. And I think I actually failed this mission if uh, if I'm being seen here. What we're going to do is uh, we're gonna save. Aha! Uh -huh. I must be in a safe area to save. Ah, a lot of fun things to loot here. What? The door is closed to us. Ah, we're almost getting seen there. Uh, also, if I'm not that talkative now, it's because I'm... I'm trying my very hardest to be concentrated on not getting found. Here we are. Noise, mate. But uh, getting out from here... I think will be a bit harder. We have two guys out there, and um, ah, oh, here. Yeah. Saw us there. Hopefully he can come in here and I can stab him. I can I can show him the error of his ways. I don't really want to kill the doggo though. That's um that wouldn't be glorious because I've already killed one doggo of wisdom in this episode. Now let's ah oh, come on. There we are. I hope he did not see us there. I had to loot the treasure. Now, let us uh, actually hope that we can get out from here and return to Marcos Bra. Alright, that uh, went well enough, I suppose. Now, it's just a matter of calling our um, loyal Phobos and return to Marcos. Yeah. So yeah, I think I will uh, return to Marcos and uh, see what he has to say and then... Um, I will call that an episode and uh, let me know in the comment section what you have trained today or what you will train or what you will train of course um, I would rather have the comment section filled with um, that sort of comments rather than the typical YouTube comment section comments um, I do try to avoid having that on my channel but anyway let's talk to this uh, guy Hello, brov. I be careful! Do you know how many of his guards were there? All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. Did you call this fun? Right. Your fun, my blood. You can't keep dragging me into things, Marcos. 
This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Here, Marcos. Uh, wait, I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back. Ugh, I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! Alright, I'll go now. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. All right, awesome. I will pick up here in the next episode. Until then, I hope you will be well and uh, be sure to train hard. XOXO, boom.